Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Bull if you're one and only, and this is something I've been wanting to do for a while before my channel um, got hacked. I was going to do this, but I was going to start reviewing um, some mods for Slate Aspire since I really enjoy Slate Aspire. So, with that said, the first mod that I actually really wanted to, you know, show off was one that really caught my interest, and that is... The Duelist mod, which is basically Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, this mod has so much packed into it. Like, you can play as Yu-Gi with a standard deck, you can play with Kaiba, you can, you can just keep going on and on. Like, there's so many decks in here. You just gotta level up and you just unlock a whole bunch of new cards or a new deck. You can play with Toon cards, you can play with Zombie cards from... I don't remember his name. <laughs> Ocean, Fiend, like, there's just so many cards. I actually have to re start recording this from, like, today, because I, the video or clip that I'm about to show you is me recording it, like, before Christmas, or after Christmas, whichever one. <laughs> yeah, that was 2019, this is 2020 right now. <laughs> just going back to this, because apparently I didn't record the part of this. But yeah, look look at all this. I mean, once you get here, you gain, like, quite a few cards. Unlock three cards. Uh, this one is a giant deck. Unavailable. Locked. Hmm. Yeah, then there's a lot of other cards, too. So I actually am pretty excited to show this mod off to you guys because... A lot more people need to try this one. This one actually has some unique stuff in it. So without further ado, I'm going to send you to the clip of me actually playing it. Alright. Let's get into it. So, huh. Let me go ahead and explain how this works. So there are points called summon points in the, the puzzle you actually start out with is on the start of the yeah, on the start of combat you get one summon puzzle token and you have a chance to r gain random defense between 0 to 10 on the start of that and you also get blur uh which one has the most elites so i can actually okay yeah we're going to start here So where's the summon point? Well, these are tributes. When it says tribute, you have to tribute your summon points. As you can see, I start out with one summon token. And I can just go ahead and use that. I have no more summon tokens now. So it's very straightforward of a mod. And let's just say all the cards are so freaking unique and different. Like, look at this. Look at all this. There's something called Overflow. When a card with Overflow is in your hand at the end of this turn, activate an effect. This effect has a limited amount of uses. So, it seems like I can probably only use it up to two times. But yeah, some points build up to where you can use Tributes. And the maximum, well, you can only hold up to five Tributes. I can gain strength. Gain strength this turn. But add two copies of this card into your draw pool. This could actually be really interesting. And it costs zero as well. So it's not really all that expensive. But it can start building up in your deck also. Which can be another issue. There is a 75% chance of getting a relic and a curse. But, I can also screw myself over uh, by upgrading the card. I don't know what a, what card that changed or anything. But it probably was something that was probably trash. <laughs> and plus, your uh, character also acts like a... Um, what was the orb dude's name? He acts like the third character. The one that uses a lot of orbs and have empty slots. So you can have lightning and 
the whole darkness thing that he has. Ooh, a merchant. So let's see what skills we have here. Okay, we can poison. We can do random damage to a random amount of times. And what is this one? Increase the maximum summons number you're given. Okay. I also get a random. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take that. Because that means we can hold more than just five summons. We don't need that in our life. We need more. Yes, look at my strength now. Look at it. What, she thought she could hit me? Nope. Not even a tickle. <laughs> oh, that, that could actually be bad, too. So you're probably going to need a lot of attack cards to like compensate for that. And plus, you're going to hope that it just doesn't fuck you over. <laughs> Enchant a random orb. Magica. Will you gain defense v via spellcaster effect? You gain additional block based on the amount of magica you currently have. Magica resets to zero when you trigger it at the end of the turn. It sets to the number of spellcasters you have currently summoned. Okay. Add a randomized spell to your hand. Yeah, let's let's do that. I haven't found the card that I really like so far. Ooh. I can lose it or I can upgrade it. I'm taking the upgrade. What? Who the hell would not? Uh, we're gonna take the elite here since we're already full HP and everything. Yeah, like I said, every card is pretty much unique in this game. And wow, we got lucky with this Elite because we can easily finish that. That was our last one, too. Okay, for each act, you, uh... Oh, okay. For each act you have climb, you gain five... No, three temporary HP. My bad, my brain. What is going on with shit? <laughs> Okay, so I can tribute two of my summons for two energy, which isn't half bad. I can also attack and block. I actually remember that card pretty well. I remember this card too. I'm going to take this just because that could be worth it. We're going to evolve or upgrade, whichever one you want to go with. Hmm. Um, let say, yeah, let's build one copy. Just because I feel like that could... Eh. That could really be a burden sometimes when you think about it. Them lowering that is actually a smart idea. But this is also pretty good. But we're going to go for this. Just because I know the chaos it could cause inside of my deck. Especially if it's not tamed or handled right. So much power can't be in my hands because <laughs> if it's in my hands you, you know everything that's going wrong okay so this is basically like hey which card do you want to start with upon picking a card when it is played if it has an attack if it is an attack you gain strength if it is a skill you gain dexterity if it is a power, you gain focus. I don't have any powers in my hand. Uh, yeah, I don't have any powers in my hand. Which is unfortunate, because that would actually be good right about now. But that is fine, because we're going to go with an attack. Well, nah. Should we really go with an attack? Because I'm probably going to get rid of it later. So... Maybe we should just go with spell and count that as that. Put on something that I'm not going to just throw out of my deck. 
Ah, oh, magic cylinder. Whenever I receive damage for all two cards. Channel a fire and lava. That seems really interesting. I want to try that card. Oh no, there goes the card I really enjoyed. God damn it. I saw it at the last second. <laughs> that card is so damn good because the randomized damage and it can hit high on a lot of individual characters. God damn it. Ah. Oh yeah, I don't have any cookies right now. I'm pissed. I'm very, very pissed. Okay. Well, right, let's go ahead and throw this on. Use this. We got lava now. We also have a dark passive, which actually helps us out a lot. We're gonna gain that energy. Just so we can hit one more. Right, so whenever I attack, I deal extra damage. Well, wait, is it every time I play a card? Yeah, every time I play a card, I do random damage. Actually, that's not a bad card. I can channel white. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? So we have Earth. Add a randomized spell to your hand. Like, see, this is what I mean about this mod is actually extremely unique just because there's so much thought put into it. It's not just like the same old cards used over and over inside of Slate Aspire. It just has so much in it. With, to where I just think this is my favorite mod of all times right now. And I'm happy that it's a thing. Because <laughs> there's legit so much to it. Okay. And then in turn, if the last card played... Wait. If the last card played matches the card's type... Okay, so... If I play this... Wait, am I drawing in, in that activating? Hold on a second. Maybe my brain is just stupid. <laughs> At the end of each turn, if the last card is played, matches... Okay, so... The last... Turn... Okay, I, I, I kind of get what it's trying to say. I'm just going to stop... And save myself the embarrassment and just keep going. <laughs> oh no. Okay. The worst thing to be fighting is this guy. This guy is definitely going to get on my nerves a lot. He does not like any any skill cards and he'll just keep gaining. I'm probably going to drink this here, and... Does Mustard Cards even count at this point? I have no idea. I mean, I can attack with that card. But it doesn't get him angry. Which, this game kind of confused me on a whole typings he likes and don't like. Okay, and that's a block. <laughs> game, please, for the love of God. <laughs> I guess anything that does damage is something he's fine with. Nope, he's not fine with that one. In that one, <laughs> um, yeah, anything that does damage is an attack card. Notice. <laughs> I'm gonna end up killing myself off this match. That's that's gonna be a bad thing. Ooh, I don't know what these void shards are. I think that's a new thing. Ow. Okay. Listen, my guy. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Oh no, I don't really have a lot of attack cards. This could be fucking bad for me. Um. Listen. I can see the amount of damage you're about to do to me. 
can we talk about this? No? I, I didn't think so, to be honest. Alright, game, you're cucking me. Can I have some attack card? Thank you. Oh, dear god. <laughs> well, that could have went better. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is from the dual pack. So, summon one relic token event. Oh, at the start of each combat. Okay. You summon baby dragons. The fuck? I have now realized I need more attack cards. But, I also just saw this. Choose a spell or trap you played this run and add it to your hand. The chosen will be will cost one this turn. That could be good for stacking traps, which could be your uh, power cards, I'm pretty sure. Hey, we actually have another leap. Did we go through? Okay, nah. Wait. Oh yeah, we can go through three elites this run. Do you have it? Oh. Damn it, you don't. But let's look at some of these cards. Okay. A little Karibo over here. Dealing 11 damage and an enemy loses 2 energy? Okay, that's not that bad. I can't buy it though. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Tribute. Summon. Okay, so that's just basically trade and I get Earth by doing damage. Warrior. The first time you tribute a warrior for another warrior at the, at the start of each combat, choose any stance to enter. Okay, so that can give me dexterity. Channel a random orb and gain uh, two magicka. I would like to build a magicka de deck soon. Okay, let's see. Gain a five strength. You cannot. Gain or lose strength for the rest of combat, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know how good this would be with this fucking blade I have right now? The Sword of the Deep? Think about that. I actually just could have kept that card and just capped myself from that point. That would have been insane. Ah, oh, it's a magic conch. I wish it wouldn't exhaust. To be honest, there could be a card to where I can get rid of debuffs. Hey, buddy. Rise and shine. I don't know why I put that on. Oh, well, just to do extra damage, I guess. <laughs> How you doing? You woke? Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. Wake up. Oh, never mind. Not if you're going to hit me with that. I'm going to need you to chill. Looks like you got a whole bunch of beef and I'm not here for it. Okay. Play this again. Summon this. Randomize. And... Okay, that's what it gave me. We're going to need the block. Okay, so we're going to take one damage. We might need to heal. Ah. Thankfully we got temporary HP. Oh, it's, it's still going to cause chaos within the deck. Jeez. Oh my god. Um, That tiger card? <laughs> tiger or lion card is insane. Let's just say that now. Okay, temporary HP, do 4 damage twice, can I be resummoned? I will not build clones, I will take gravity axe, oh boy, that's going to be fun. I can make it cause zero. Huh. Summon. Ooh, we're taking this. This this card is ridiculous. <laughs> That's all I can say. That card is ridiculous. 
Oh yeah, we can start off with two. There's energy, okay, we got that. It's actually what we've been looking for right now. Uh, we're gonna save Gravity Axe for when we get our card. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. I didn't even know we had weakened on you, buddy. My auto orb. <laughs> nice. Okay. So that's ten damage. Ready to get some energy. Randomize. Have that back on. Huh. I, I really seem the worst I did have focus now that I think about it. Sometimes you gotta know when to stop using the card. <laughs> but if that card is too good, then what do I do with all this power? <laughs> ah, I have no block. <laughs> but the thing is, there probably could be a card that can actually remove this if I want to like move debuffs off myself. Yes, yeah, so and it doesn't go down. <laughs> Perfection. So the idea I was thinking of is actually working. And this gives me the damage I need to kill him. And there we go. As long as I have lava, I'm still dealing damage. So, I, I say that was a successful setup. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm gonna get Sword of Revealing Light out of that. I can no longer. Nah. Whenever I open a non boss chest. Jesus Christ, man. Well, shit. All this has got to fucking be over. I would rather take the curse, to be honest. Because I won't get it, like, too often. Oh, yeah. This is, like, the... Like, a shadow boss. I think it's, like, the Phantom or something like that. Ooh, what the hell's going on over here? That looks pretty hot. But if you guys beat this, you unlock, you start endless mode, which is basically one of the mods I have. And endless mode, just basically, you just keep on climbing, keep on climbing. If you don't hit it, then you, you just end off at the heart. But yeah, we're going to stop it right there, guys. If you guys all enjoyed this video slap a like and i will do a continuation into i die of this run with that said hope you guys enjoyed it until then peace out it's all about humanity